Hello everybody, this video is on momentum. In physics, momentum is a vector quantity of a mass in motion. It is given by the mass of the object multiplied by its velocity. The equation is simple. Momentum is represented by the letter P, and this equals to the mass of the object in kilograms multiplied by its velocity in meters per second. This is why the unit for momentum is kilograms meters per second. Since momentum is dependent on the velocity of the object, which is a vector quantity, momentum itself is also a vector quantity, which means you need to provide the magnitude unit as well as the direction when calculating the momentum of an object. For example, suppose we have a 5 kilogram mass moving horizontally to the right with a velocity of 2 meters per second. The momentum of this object is simply given by its mass multiplied by its velocity which equals to 10 kilograms meters per second as its momentum to the right. The law of conservation momentum states that the total momentum of a closed system is always conserved, which means it stays constant. Mathematically, this is given by sigma, which means the sum of the momentum before a particular event equals to the total momentum of the system after a particular event. We'll go through some examples of how to apply the law of conservation of energy in a moment. However, before we do that, it is important to keep in mind when does the total momentum of a system remain conserved. A closed system in physics describes a system in which the net external forces acting on the masses equal to zero. External force can include things like weight force, friction, or any sort of applied force that comes from objects or sources outside the system. And again, you'll have a better understanding of what I mean by external forces in the examples to follow. The law of conservation of momentum only applies when the total mass of the system, that is, mass of the objects involved in the system, remains constant. Almost always, this is the assumption that we apply when we analyze particular systems. So to summarize, the law of conservation momentum states that the total momentum of a system, that is of a closed system, is always conserved. So the total momentum before and after a particular event, such as a collision between different objects, will remain constant. Suppose we have an 800 kilogram car that was moving at 12 meters per second to the east, while we have a 2000 kilogram car moving at 10 meters per second to the west. So they're traveling in opposite directions. Before they collided as shown. After the collision, both cars started to move together. What is the velocity of the cars? Assuming in this example, there's no friction between the road and the tires of the car, we have a system where we don't have in any other external forces acting on the cars or any external forces affecting the motion of these cars. While we do have the weight force acting on the cars, these weight force vectors actually do not affect the motion, that is the velocity of the cars, as the vectors are perpendicular to the velocity vectors. In simpler words, there are no forces acting on the cars in the horizontal direction. Of course, when the cars do collide, car A will exert a force on car B going this way, so that's the force due to car A, and car B will exert a force on car A going towards the left or west in this example, that's called that FB. These two force vectors are internal forces as they are provided by objects that are already in the system to begin with. So these are not external forces. Because there are no external forces acting on the two cars, we can apply the law of conservation of momentum, which means that the total momentum before the collision of the cars should equal to the momentum after the collision. What is the momentum before the collision? Well, that's the momentum of the two cars. The momentum of car A equals to the, its mass of 800 kilograms multiplied by its velocity of 12 meters per second east. Let's make east our positive direction in this scenario. So it's times 800 here by 12 meters per second. And we also have to add the momentum of car B, which would be its mass of 2000 kilograms 
multiply by its velocity of minus 10 meters per second because it is traveling west in the negative direction. So this here is our initial momentum. That's called that P before of the collision. By the law of constant dimension momentum, this will be equal to the total momentum of the cars after the collision. The question states that after the collision, both cars started to move together. So, they, so we can analyze them as a combined mass, which would be 800 kilograms plus 2,000 kilograms multiply by their final velocity, which is what we're trying to find. So this expression here will be our P after, the total momentum after the collision. On the left-hand side, I have a value of minus 10,400. And on the right-hand side, I have 2,800 multiplied by V final. So by dividing both sides by 2,800, V final equals minus 3.7 meters per second. The minus here suggests that the cars after the collision will start to move in the negative direction, which is west, at 3.7 meters per second. So you can also present this answer as 3.7 meters per second west, as we previously defined west as a negative direction. A 5 kilogram rifle fires a 2 gram bullet at 100 meters per second. The rifle here is 5 kilograms. The bullet that was fired was 2 grams, which is equal to 2 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms. And the bullet is traveling at 100 meters per second. What is the velocity of the rifle due to the recoil? So again, this is a closed system because there are no external forces acting on the rifle and the bullet. So we can apply the law of conservation of momentum where the momentum before the event, so that is before the rifle was fired, equals to the momentum after it was fired. Before the rifle was fired, both the rifle and the bullet do not have any velocity, which means the momentum of the system would be simply zero. After the rifle was fired, the total momentum will be given by m1 times by v1, which we can say that this is the mass of the rifle times by its velocity, plus m2 times by v2, where m2 is the mass of the bullet and v2 is the velocity of the bullet. Mass of the rifle is 5 kilograms, and the velocity is what we are trying to calculate, plus m2, which would be the mass of the bullet, so 2 times by 10 to the power of minus 3 kilograms, multiplied by its velocity of 100 meters per second. And all of this is equal to a total momentum zero before the rifle is fired. So here we get minus 0 0.2 equals to 5v1. So v1 is equal to minus 0 0.04 meters per second. This means when the bullet was fired at the velocity of 100 meters per second to the right, the gun will experience a recoil backwards at 0.04 meters per second. Now you can see that the speed of the gun due to the recoil is much slower than the bullet speed. This is because the mass of the gun is much heavier than the mass of the bullet. Five kilograms compared to just two grams. This concludes the video on momentum.